Hi everyone, this is Heba and I'm really excited to be back uh, working in my traveler's notebook and rediscovering my stamps with Sarah Scraps. Uh, if you're not familiar with this series, I definitely recommend to check out my playlist. We have loads of video of rediscovering our stamps. And as I've mentioned before, this year we decided to choose themed stamps. And this month for March, uh, we are going with spring themed stamps. Now I went through my stash, I grabbed a few of my favorites, and I'm going to try to use as many of these stamps as I can. So let's get to it. I want to share the stamp sets with you. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I do have Sarah's video linked in the description box for you. So if you want more inspiration, definitely check out her video because I'm sure she'll be using totally different stamps and creating something totally different than I am. So it's nice to see two different uh, layouts for you to get more inspiration and to use up or use your spring stamps this month. Anyways, let's get to it. I grabbed this stamp set from Studio Calico, the spring stamp set. I have a feeling I'm going to be using this as a title because I really love that. So I'm going to be using that stamp set. Then we have this stamp set, uh, I believe also is a Studio Calico stamp set and it was designed by In a Creative Bubble. Really pretty, love that stamp set. This is a Paper Person Shop stamp set. I believe this one released last spring. So I'm excited to use this one if I can. I'm gonna try really hard to use one of these or two of these stamp sets today, but I thought these are some favorites. I grabbed them, I haven't used them in a while. So it's gonna be fun to use these in my traveler's notebook. So I'm going to put you on fast forward, some voiceover and go through my traveler's notebook paper and try to find the right paper for my layout. I do want to document some spring flowers. So I'm gonna print those out as well. And then we can kind of document spring using our spring stamp sets. Okay, so let's start working in my traveler's notebook. I'm gonna be documenting three photos of the flowers blooming in my backyard. And I'm just gonna go through my traveler's notebook paper to find the right paper for my layout. I really like this subtle pink paper and I think it's gonna work perfectly with my photos because I do have three photos, so I don't want the pattern to be too busy and take away from the beautiful blooming flowers. So I go with that and I do grab a plain grid paper as well to balance it out. Now I decide to go with my go-to <laughs> layout and format and add all three photos next to each other in a line and have some space on the side for my title. Like I said earlier, I really want to use the spring title. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp it in that space next to my photo. And that way it completes the line. And I love this uh, layout or this type of layout a lot because it's so simple to do. It's perfect because you can add multiple photos in a large title on one line. I don't know what it is, but I just love this kind of sketch or this kind of layout for my traveler's notebooks. Anyways, I decide to use the Studio Calico spring stamp. It had these little circles and you could fill the circles with flowers, clouds, sunshine, and I thought it would be perfect if I stamped them in circle labels instead stamping the circle than adding the flowers, if that makes sense. I thought it would be perfect to add a pop of color this way. So I go with some yellow labels and some pink ones. I'm going to stamp within the labels and try to add the yellow labels more to the right and then the pink ones more to the left. And that way it balances out the pink from the right side of my spread. I filled out a few of the circles and now all I have to do is just basically add them randomly to my spread. Obviously, I wanna make sure that I'm balancing them out because they are pretty big circles. So uh, if I added a yellow one to the left, I wanna add one to the right. And if I add a 
pink one to the top. I want to add one to the bottom. So I'm just keeping that in mind while I'm adding my little labels. I feel like I have enough labels at this point, so I go ahead and trim down my labels. I also trim down whatever's hanging off the edge of my layout, but I felt like I needed one more yellow label. That space right under my third photo just looked kind of bland, so I'm just going to add a half a circle there. I feel like it balanced out the yellow on that side of my spread, and I do want to fill it out with some words, so I go back to that stamp set and add in the garden in that yellow label just to fill that out. I also do stamp spring, spring, spring in one of my other labels. Uh, I do like a kind of second generation look there. I found a teeny tiny flower in that stamp set and I felt like it was perfect to add to my clusters and balance out the black on my spread. It just looks so cute. I love that little flower. I'm in love with the stamp set and I'm so happy we chose spring for this month because it really helped me um, kind of rediscover my spring stamp sets, the ones, especially the ones I love. And these are designed by In a Creative Bubble, so they make me so happy. I love all her designs. Anyways, uh, again, I wanted to balance out the black, especially from that large title that I added to the right. So I stamped the best time for New Beginnings is now right above one of my photos. This helped balance the big words and it also helped balance the black ink. And I'm just coming in with my teeny tiny uh, Everyday Explorers floral stamp to add some yellow flowers in my clusters as well. Then I believe I call my layout done. I'm basically going to punch out my holes for my discs and then add this in my traveler's notebook and call my layout done. Don't forget, I will be adding Sarah's link down in the description box for you. I definitely recommend to take a look. You'll get more inspiration on how to use and rediscover your spring stamps. And that's basically it, you guys. Don't forget, I'll be adding all the links for everything I use down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.